even need them? Probably not. Throughout history, young people have been wholesome and groovy. Jam a party tonight. But not anymore. Today's youth are known as Generation Spend, Generation Google, Generation Wasted, Generation Useless. We are not Generation Useless. Yes, you are. <laughs> how many of them know how to get a bit of a saw and cut a bit of timber and, and drive a nail into it? So they didn't go outdoors, they didn't learn how to play with ropes and sticks. In the good old days, kids were content with ropes and sticks. But today's youth are spoiled brats, <laughs> sponging off mum and dad, spending it all like there's no tomorrow. In fact, today's youth are barely even human. Couple of quick questions then for Gen Y. Right. Do you still use knives and forks? I see them sitting down grazing like apes. Not only do these animals not use cutlery, but they see they found they don't even use clothes. Would you let your daughter go out looking like this? Do you want to look like a hooker? The shocking trend that parents can't control. The outraged viewers of Australia tuned in by the millions. The latest fashion trend is to hit the town, basically leaving your clothes at home. A fashion trend so insidious that it started in 1967. Luckily, the solution is elementary. There are plenty of local girls to provide some fashion inspiration. Jacinta Campbell, she dresses in a very classy way and, and behaves in a very classy way. You know, I think Kate Waterhouse is quite a good role model. She looks a very pretty feminine girl and she, she doesn't let it all hang out. To right, Kate Waterhouse and Jacinta Campbell are the definite definition of demure. And the reporter who brought us that story, Alison Petrowski, would never be seen in public wearing hot pants. Even when they're not new, young people are undergoing a strange transformation. Unruly children are mutating into criminals. And we've obtained exclusive footage of this process. People love violence so much that they even film it on their YouTubes. The teenagers were filmed attacking each other. The videos have since been removed from YouTube. Damn YouTube. If only there was a more irresponsible broadcaster, we'd show us these videos. The pictures are confronting. Teenage girls and boys cheered on as they viciously attack each other. Thanks, Channel 7. To be fair, they did issue this warning. And a warning some viewers may find these pictures disturbing. Before they immediately proceeded to show the pictures to a bunch of kids and old ladies. I don't know what's wrong with the young ones today. Look at that, it's disgusting. Channel 7 had so many disgusting videos they were forced to run nine screens at once. Kempsey residents are horrified. I'm horrified! They should have been in at least 16 screens! The kids have never had playground fights before. There can only be one explanation. Video games are corrupting children. Stealing money, selling drugs, driving cars and running over people, shooting police officers. Now those things can't be good for your mind. That's right. Just look what playing Angry Birds did to this kid's mind. <laughs> Although harebrained academics disagree. Not me. Oh. A very useful comparison is with Japan, which has one of the highest saturations of gamers in the world. It's one of the least violent societies. Sure, Prof, but Japan has harmless, colourful games, like Battle Raper 2. To get to the bottom of the issue, Seven's Robert Avadia went undercover inside a video game. What are you doing, Robert? Oh, my God, don't be a hero. Just get out of there, quickly. And he uncovered a very telling fact. What, the teenage crime dropped 5% in the last 12 months. No, not that fact, this fact. That must affect their minds. Hang on, stealing, shooting, what does that remind me of? Stealing money. The masked man jumped the counter, ripping cash out of the till. Selling drugs. Police allege the woman was selling drugs from this house. Driving cars and running over people. He tried to run police over. Shooting police officers. Two men charged over the shooting death of a Gold Coast policeman last year. What it really reminds me of is those two guys who copied a robbery they saw on a current affair. That's it! We should keep kids away from the news! Because they didn't learn how to play with ropes and sticks. Oh yeah, and from that guy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>